today, as promised, we are doing a little um, April recap of what I've read in April. And we will see if I was able to stick to my TBR that I've made over on TikTok. So, without further ado, let's get on to this video. Alright, so for the month of May, no, April, we're in May right now. So for the month of April, I've read four books and three of them are actually from a series that I finished. So sorry in advance if it's not that interesting for you today, but I still wanted to do an April recap and give my opinions and thoughts on those books slash series. Um, so let's go. All right, so for the first book that I've read and finished in April, it's A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas, and you can now guess what the next two will be. Uh, so I really like this book as you can see i really like the story in this one it was really great um the plot twist or plotting in this one it was a really nice read and uh for the like thickness of this book i went through this one quite rapidly i'll have to check on goodread but i'll mark here maybe or here uh from what date to what date i've read this one but yeah uh this might be one of my favorite from the akatar series it's between this one and um mist and fury but yeah so this is the first book that i've read and finished in april Second book that I've read and finished in April. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free, so that's why my reviews are kind of general, but I'm really trying to keep keep this as spoiler free as possible. So if anyone here has not yeah, has not yet read this uh series, well, I'm not going to be the one to uh, spoil the fun for you. So, second book is A Court of Frost and Starlight. Uh, it's like a little... I think people are saying that this was a like a Christmas special in the series. Like it's, it's really thin compared to like the rest of the books that are quite uh, thicker. <laughs> so... Uh, this was actually a fun little read. I think I gave it four stars, but I'm not sure. I'll write somewhere on the screen what I've put on Goodreads. But thinking about it, I think now I want to put this at a four star. It was really good. It was really fun. I really enjoyed the story but like for the thickness of the book this could have been completely removed from the series and we wouldn't we would not miss anything but it was a fun little palette cleanser between books and it was still fun to read i still enjoyed it but uh like i said it, it's so small and it's on the span of a couple of days i think so this could have been like whoop, not existing and would have been fine but still nice to have and i enjoyed it so yeah four star but i'll put somewhere what i've really put on good read just to be sure so this is the second book third book for the month of april and final book as of today 
for the Akatar series is A Court of Silver Flame. Uh, this one I also quite enjoyed reading. Uh, spoiler alert. This one is uh, the spiciest out of the five books. Um, this is the one that has the most spice scene um, between all the Akatar's book, but it's not like... It's not... Well, for some it may be too much, <laughs> but... Like, for me, personally, it was fine. Like, it was okay. It wasn't too much. But it was a lot more than all of the other ones. So, like, just a little warning if you're not a uh, Spice fan. But this one was really, 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 really nice. Uh, this is Nesta's story. Like, that. that's not really a spoiler. This one follows Nesta. And the character development is phenomenal. So I really loved this one. I gave it a five star. And I'm still, as of today, giving it a um, five star. It was really, really good. I don't know why. I still love uh, Wings and Ruins and Mist and Fury more. But this one like it's taking the third place like between the the two like the winds and ruins and mist and fury are either one and two but this is clearly like my third place it was really 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 good so my third read for april and finally, my fourth and last read for the month of April was Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. Haynes? Sorry if I butchered the name. Uh, so, yeah, Stone Blind. Uh, it was good. Like, story wise, it was really good and really interesting. But. My only, like, bad point is that, like, just looking at the cover and the title, Stone Blind, and, like, there's a Medusa on the front, um, and it's, even when you read the back, you're getting the impression that this is going to be like a retelling of Medusa's story but <laughs> they're talking about Medusa about less than 40% of the book so that's what bothers me while reading this is that I was under the impression that it was going to be like all about Medusa's story, but it's not. <laughs> so it was still really enjoyable. It was still really good. I had fun while reading this book, but it was not what I thought it was going to be. And yeah, so Storm Blind, I think I gave this one four star. Like, because on Goodread, you can, you can't, well, I haven't found a way to, like, put three and a half, three point two five. like, I haven't found a way to do that. And I didn't want to give it three, so I gave it four, but it's more of a, like, 3.5, if I can say that. So, yeah, still good, still really enjoyed the story, but was not what... I was expected. So yeah, that's the last book that I've read in April. So that's it for today's guys. Um, if you saw the TikTok that I made uh, doing my April TBR, you can see that I've read actually the total amount of books that I wanted to read. 
uh, it's only stone blind was not supposed to be there it was supposed to be another one but the other one I want to read more like maybe during October September so I switched for this one but uh, besides that I was able to read all the books that I wanted to read if you want to see what my May TBR is, you can go on my page and see the videos I posted just before this one where uh, we randomly pick my May TBR. Um, I can already tell you that one of them is already read and finished and I loved it. So that's it guys for today. You can leave a little comment down below. Since I've just started this channel, I would really appreciate some feedbacks on what I can change and what I can what I can make better. You can also leave a little thumbs up. You can subscribe also. That would really be um, appreciated. And on that note, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.